to all your RC guys out there and train enthusiasts, uh, toy train enthusiasts, post-war and so on. Um, this over here is a armature lathe uh, for your commentator or a comm lathe uh, for short. And um, what this does is when you apply power, you turn the switch on, that'll activate this motor here, which will be spinning this pulley. And then depending on the type of armature you have, you'll put the pulley uh, belt in the position necessary so it won't be rubbing up against your windings and it'll be on the actual uh, armature itself, this part of the armature and it'll spin the armature at X amount of speed. And what this has here is a diamond cut blade and a knob to bring the blade in and out. So as you can see here, mod fashion, this is the gap that you're gonna get, or this is the movement that you're gonna get between each one of these gaps. So each one of these gaps or clicks, as you can see, she moves 0 0.01 millimeters. So you just move it in slow, tiny increments. And then this knob over here allows you to move the blade to the left towards the uh, windings of the armature. That's where you stop. Then you come back, that would be one pass. Then here's your second pass. So you're coming back to the end of the comm. When you come back to the end of the comm, adjust, bring back all the way, right to where I'm stopping, right around there. Then you come back, that would be two. Now we're going on three passes. And you keep doing this until you have a brand new resurfaced commutator. And uh, also, we would do this with brand new motors. Uh, when these motors are made, they're made in mass production, so not always the comm will be perfectly cylindrical. So this will ensure that you get a nice, good cylindrical commutator. And uh, in order for you to keep competitive and keep racing and be on top of your game, these are the devices that you would have. You also have one for brushes. Here is a vertical brush slot so you put the brush in this way vertical for vertical end bells and then you can go in push the push the uh, brush in as the motor is running and it'll spin this blade and resurface and give you some sort of grooves on your brush then the that was vertical this is horizontal like this one okay this is a horizontal brush you push this in as the motor spinning, the belt is spinning this blade over here and it'll resurface and regroove. Now I'm gonna to try to zoom in on this motor that has not been touched or used in probably 10 years and you can still see the grooves that were done by that blade when I was competing. Okay, so this would be a cool idea to work on our trains, but the problem is our train motors are anywhere from 45, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. And the technology back then was way different. So who knows how much copper is on the actual commutator of one of our train motors. And um, if you wind up doing something or coming up with an idea like this, you may actually ruin or destroy the motor. So. We're just used to taking a little bit of alcohol and a Q-tip, an eraser. Uh, some people will go as far as maybe taking a little bit of a Scotch-Brite to get the hard, crusty stuff off the comm. And others may frown upon it and tell you don't do it, but I have used 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 grit abrasive paper. Now, abrasive paper will cause grooves in your comm, and it may help wear the brushes out until they seat properly. Uh, then they'll, then it'll smooth out it'll smooth out the comm eventually. Uh, but uh, there you have it. This is an actual lathe for an RC motor. And then when you're done, pull the belt off, reassemble your motor. You have a brand fresh. You have a brand new fresh comm. 
reassemble your motor and you're ready to race again.